Hey, what's up, guys? This is Clyde giving you another update today. I mean, this evening. Of, uh, I forgot the date, but, anyways, uh, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna test resistance on my Sundown Audio S8 SPL V.2 D2 Dual 2 Ohms right there. SPL Edition. These two here. Gonna have to test resistance because as I was coming home from work at midnight, uh, it just quit working. So, and then I found that, um, took everything off, and then when I disconnected the speaker wires from the box, I noticed that this negative terminal right there, this black terminal, it was loose, it was shaking around in there. So, when I removed those two subs out of the box, I checked, I shake this terminal. It's negative terminal is loose in here and the screw was coming off so I'm uh, hoping that that was a problem it was wasn't getting connection because it was loose from the vibration of the base so I tightened it up went with the ratchet and a socket and tightened this nut up I put a stuck one of the small little mini screwdrivers right here Put it right in the hole, spring loaded hole, to hold it in place while I tighten the nut right there. Shit, got a bunch of tools everywhere on the ground, scattered all over the place, but big mess. But, anyways, yeah, I tightened up the spring loaded terminal that was just shaking loose real bad. This nut right here was loose. Tighten it up. I shoved the um, jewelry screwdriver right in this hole to hold it in place while I tighten it. Tighten this part up. This terminal. I both I tighten both of them up. Make sure it's tight. And and um, I gotta now. I have to. Um, I'm gonna try and test resistance on see if. Hopefully, I'm hoping that it didn't burn the didn't blow this up hopefully the coil isn't toasted I'm gonna have to test resistance on that see hopefully I'm hoping that it didn't blow cuz I'm only running 700 watts to it so it shouldn't have blown and this amp was working when I checked the power light was on right here. this power protect power light you can't see it but right there that power light was on was green so I know that the amp was working and the remote in the car the light was blue so I know usually when uh, it overheats it just shuts completely off that um, remote base knob light just completely shuts off then I would have to turn the volume all the way down for a while and then turn and then it um, the remote light comes back on then I know that the amp cooled down then then I turn it back up and it's working again, but it didn't. It didn't shut off, so I was thinking that it has to be something to do with the subs. But I'm hoping that this loose um, spring-loaded speaker terminal right here for this box was a problem. Now I'm gonna go and try and test resistance on this thing. Flip this babies over. Okay, flip it over, nice shiny back magnet, okay, let me test this one first. Tangle up mess. Let's 
See, this is one coil. I'm gonna test that coil. Now I'm gonna set it. It's set to 20 kilo ohms. Turn it on. Should work. Yep, there's resistance. Yep, there's like a short. Should read like a short. It's working. Watch when I remove the. If I move the power lead, there's nothing. Then when I touch it, see there's resistance right there. There's like a short. Remove it. Nothing. Touch it again. So that coils good. Now I'm gonna try the other sub. Up the positive. Okay, it's gonna sh tangled mess. Okay, you see this? There's no ring, just one. Now, as I touch the negative terminal, you see it fluctuating. Back one again, and touch it again. It's reading a short, so that goes good. Next. Grab this thing, uh, flip it around. Same with this, flip this around. Okay, same thing. Stuck the negative lead into the negative spring terminal. Okay, now you see that there's no reading, it's just like nothing. And I'm gonna touch this the positive to the positive right there and you have resistance right there remove it nothing touch it again you got there you got some um, resistance there it's like a short so that coils working so we know this sub this sub is good now the next sub put the negative terminal negative lead into the negative spring terminal and this is nothing touch it to the positive you got a reading there short nothing and to touch it again touching it you got a short so with that said both subwoofers are good this sub and this sub is good so now I'm guessing that that right there was a problem I'm gonna try and check resistance on that okay I'm gonna stuck this lead into here So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the positive lead of this multimeter right here into into this right here this positive so let's see that's in there now what I'm gonna do with the negative lead, this negative lead here, touch the opposite end, this opposite end right there, of that positive, and you got short, nothing, touch it again, short, so you know that's working now, okay, this, now what I'm gonna do is stuck do the opposite one do the gonna do the negative that this negative right here gonna test that so put one end of the lead in doesn't matter positive or negative because I'm gonna touch it together okay in there that's in there touch the other end right there you see this this lead here is gonna touch it's gonna touch 
that, flip that thing over. Yep. Okay, it's gonna touch. It's gonna touch this right here. See it touching? It's touching this. And got a reading there. Not no reading. Touch it again. We got a ring. There's a short. Nothing. Touch it again. It's gonna read like a short. So it's it's um current is flowing through there. Continuity. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to touch the other end of this wire here. Let me see if I get the right wire. Nope, not that. That one. Okay, this one here is the negative. The negative. Nothing. Touch it. Touching with my hand. Up against that lead. And you got short. Disconnected. Nothing. Touch it again. Short. You got power going through that one. Now the opposite end. Let's see. It's this one. Okay. See that? That's the short. Disconnected. Nothing. Touch it again. It's a short. So, you know, you got resistance in there. It's, a it's gonna read like a short. So, that's working. Now, I'm gonna check the positive terminal, which is this one. Put one lead in there. Forever. Okay, I got one lead in there now. Check the opposite. Oh, I checked there already, so okay. Right here. It's the positive lead. Got a reading there. Short. Take it off. Nothing. Now touch it again. So short, so you get continuity in that one. Now I'm going to the other side. Okay, touch it. Continuity. Let it go. Nothing. Touch it again. Continuity. So okay, you got continuity to all these wires from this connection. Going through this other opposite end to the wires, to the all the way to the opposite ends of these wires going, which these wires going into the sound on audio SA8 right there. It's going to those. So tested the coils on those two subwoofers right there. Both coils checked out. They both have resistance. They both are working. So you know the subs are good, tested everything there, continuity from one end to the other, that's working so now you should have, um, it sh everything should be working now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to reconnect it again, connect these wires to that and then test it again from here, and see if I get a reading out of this two terminals see if I get a reading out of that but anyways yep at least I know that the subs are good didn't blow didn't um, burn out my free two hundred dollar subs up each now to put it now I gotta reconnect it back and then check the continuity again but yeah, and this crappy ass amp, this amp is overheats like crazy. Even with this on, I, I thought it would work, but no, because these um this whole section here and this mounts 
that are that is plastic. Both ends are plastic, so and it has a gap in there. See that gap? It doesn't touch this at all. So this I wanted this part here to absorb the heat from this amp. But since this whole casing of this amp doesn't even touch this part, it's just it's about an eighth of an inch above this, so it doesn't absorb the heat at all. So it doesn't as a heat sink this thing that it work doesn't work just because of this this not being metal being plastic instead of metal if this whole thing was metal then it would probably absorb the heat into this and work as a heat sink but it doesn't so I'll just have to like either every time it shuts down I have to let it cool off and then when it comes back on again then I can play my music go that way or if not I have to probably what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna probably put something here raise it up this much put a clear plexiglass right over cut out a hole just to mount a hole in, um, the, enough to mount a 12 volt direct, co direct current cooling fan and just bolt it up onto the plexiglass right here it's going to be facing down to here sucking the air from outside and then blowing it to to this amp and then the air will be flowing right over it and leave both ends open I just would have something right there lifting it up about this much on both sides plexiglass bolted down to it maybe about this much gap about half inch gap or a little bit more maybe above here have a hole and mount the cooling fan on the top of it blowing down to here and the air will just be circling flowing blowing out both directions that's one of my plans that I might do pick up some stuff from eBay and stuff but anyways guys that was my update just to let you guys know what happened as I was coming home from work at 12 o'clock at midnight but anyways yep the sundown audio is right there is good checked out we got continuity from this end to the speaker wires so from the terminals right there that goes into the box to the part that goes into the subs I'm gonna put it back together and then see what happens okay guys that's all for today for this evening I mean this morning Clyde here signing off